Hello and welcome to Aviva Select California YouTube channel. In this video we will go over a quick overview on Aviva Operation Management Interface apps. If you are not familiar with Aviva OMI, I recommend you watch our introductory video on Aviva Operations Management Interface. You can find the link for the video in the description box below. An OMI app is a collection of one or more controls with specific functions and capabilities. These apps can be used as content in an operation management interface view app to provide various types of information based on their function and configuration, such as navigation hierarchy, an interactive map, and more. A set of default apps are included in the Galaxy. Also, custom apps can be created with a software development kit and imported into the Galaxy. Apps can be embedded in OMI screen simply by dragging and dropping in the desired pane or section of screen. As you can see here, uh, we have layout 2 that we have already prepared. We have 5 panes in this layout and 4 slide-in panes. Um, we need to go to the toolbox bar and search for the app that we're interested in. So for example, the first one was the historical trend, the second one is the alarm control, this one is insight control which gives you access to the historical client, to the historian client web. And then you could search for things like the navigation control, there are multiple ones. Um, there's also um, the map app that we're including in this application. So you could search for the app that you're interested in and it's just a matter of dragging and dropping into the desired section. It's important to note that once you have embedded an app in a pane, it's possible to click on that pane and then click on properties and these properties are actually associated to the app. The properties are not associated to the pane. If you need to access the properties of the pane, you need to click on these ellipses here and then click on pane properties. And that will give you a different set of uh, properties to configure. This right here is an example of an all my screen with few apps embedded in uh, different panes of the screen. So for example, if we navigate up to the United States level, then you can see the entire United States map uh, on the right hand side here where we've embedded the map app. Um, uh, note that this is an interactive app. Uh, so you can zoom in and zoom out. You can also click on specific areas, for example, the southwest area or the um, west area, for example, here, and then zoom in to uh, individual states. So, for example, I can click on California. When I do so, um, you, you can see here that the process screen changing to California and the summary faceplate uh, also changes to um, indicate KPIs or charts related to California. Uh, in the middle pane here, we can also um, embed different applications. So for example, we have this process screen. We can also embed alarm screen or alarm control. We don't have any alarms right now, otherwise it'd be listed here. And you can also acknowledge these alarms from here. There's also a trend app embedded. And as you can see here, there are a couple of tags there's this uh, flow target and flow total, um, historical data trend. There are also few slide-in panes, for example, the one to the left-hand side here, which is also another type of navigation. And the one in the bottom here, uh, which is for SCADA playback. And, and there's also one here to the uh, right-hand side, which includes um, configuration related to alarm settings and um, language configuration for example or the navigation so this is just a simple example of a few of the OMI apps uh, how to embed them in an OMI screen and um, how to navigate through your plant model Thank you for watching this video and if you would like to know more about Aviva OMI or any other Aviva products, please visit our website on california.avivaselect.com.